In this video, I'll show you how I painted this Primaris Invader ATV. Hello everyone, this is Jason from Force Hammer Gaming, and in a prior video, I magnetized these two weapons on this Invader ATV. Now it's time to actually paint this model. Similar to my Outrider Bike Squad, I'll be painting this ATV in the Dark Angels Ravenwing color scheme. Looking forward to seeing how this turns out, so without further ado, let's get going. So the first thing that I did prior to recording this video is prime this model using Gray Sear Spray Paint. Next we're going to use Lead Belcher to paint the following areas. Basically any area that's under the armor plating, including the seating area, any pipes and engine parts, also the rims of the tires, these gear symbols on the side as well, bottom half of these bolters on the front and this cylinder on top. On the helmets of the Space Marines, we'll be painting the pipes and other metal areas. For the Gatling Cannon, we're going to paint the barrels and basically most of the bottom half and back of the gun, including these cylinders here and on the back. For the multi melta, we're also going to paint the bottom half of this gun, as well as these barrels at the front here, not including the casing surrounding these barrels. There's a good chance that I did not mention a few parts that I was going to paint, but you'll see what I'll be painting as I go.
Now we're going to be using a bat in black to paint the following areas. Most of the unpainted areas of the ATV, including the armor plating, the armor on the Space Marines, the shoulders and arms of the Space Marine, pretty much all of the unpainted areas of the Gatling Cannon, the multi melta except the casing here at the end, which will be painted in a different color. Next, we're going to be using Corvus Black to paint the tires, paint gaps in the armor, such as at the elbows, painting the exhaust ports on the backpack, this cylinder on the belt, as well as the belt on the waist and the back.
Next, we're going to be painting the exhaust casing and the front casing of the multi melter in Brass Scorpion. Next, we're going to be using Retributor Armor to paint the Aquila at the front of the ATV, as well as the headlights. Now we're going to be using Mornfang Brown to paint the square pouch in the back and the gun holster. Next, I'm going to be using Corn Red to paint the casing on the bolt guns on the front, the casing of the multi melta, as well as any wires such as the one on the Gatlin Cannon. Next, we're going to use Warpstone Glow to paint the rectangular screen on the handlebar. Now, we're going to be using Wraith Bone to paint the chest aquila on the Space Marine armor, as well as the eyes on the helmets. Now we're going to be using Corax White to paint the tops of the buttons that are on the handlebar, the consoles around the seating area, and the back console here.
In the next few steps, I'll be doing some edge highlighting as well as applying both contrast and shade paints. However, as you probably have already seen, I made several errors in my painting along the way. As such, I think this would be a good time to do some touch-ups before moving forward. Okay, and I think it looks a bit cleaner now. Next, I'm going to edge highlight the Space Marine armor using Fenrisian Grey. Next, I'm going to edge highlight the abaddon black areas of the weapons, as well as the armor plating on the ATV using Dawnstone.
all right. As many of you have probably noticed, some of the edge highlight lines are thicker than they should be, while other lines are thinner than they should be. As such, I'm going to do some touch-ups to even things out. Okay, I think it looks a bit cleaner now. Now we're going to be applying Nuln Oil to the following areas. Anything painted in Lead Belcher, in Brass Scorpion, the Mornfang Brown on the back here, as well as the Corn Red Casing for the Bolters and the Multi Melta.
now we're going to apply Skeleton Horn onto the chest aquilas of the Space Marines. Next, we're going to apply Raikulin Flesh Shade onto the Aquila at the front. Now we're going to paint the tops of the buttons that I previously painted in Corax White with a combination of Dark Angels Green, Frost Heart, and Blood Angels Red. Also, I'll be painting the eyes on the helmet with Blood Angels Red. Please note, for the buttons, if you want to use different colors, feel free to do so. Lastly, we're going to dry brush the treads of the tires using Storm Vermin Fur. Alright, here is my completed Dark Angels Invader ATV painted in the Ravenwing color scheme. I know that there are players out there who aren't exactly fans of the ATV's design, but personally I think it looks fine. If Games Workshop one day refreshes this model, there is one suggestion that I could make and that's maybe make the ATV a little bit longer so that the turret is further back. Although, I have a gut feeling that the ATV's current dimensions was done purposely for gameplay reasons. When it comes to painting this model, I will admit that it is one of the more challenging models that I've painted so far, especially the front half of the ATV, which had a lot of hard to reach areas due to parts being in the way. However, in the end, I think it turned out pretty well. Anyways, that's the end of my video and I hope you enjoyed watching it. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and be sure to check out my other social media accounts in the description below. Until next time, this is Jason from Force Hammer Gaming, signing off.